This experiment aims to define whether two proteins interact in cells and to delineate aspects of the sites of that interaction. First, cells are transfected with expression constructs encoding the two proteins of interest, one of which is fused to the N-terminus of a fragmented fluorescent protein and the other fused to the complementary C-terminus of the fragmented fluorescent protein. After allowing the transfected cells to develop fluorescent signal in culture, the protein complexes are visualized by imaging and immunoblotting. Next, the collected images are exported to imaging software such as ImageJ in order to quantify average fluorescence intensity per cell. In a controlled experiment, BIFC results can demonstrate protein-protein interactions and the localization of these complexes like the SH3 domains of the scaffold protein intersectin and the proline-rich domain of PI3KC2-beta. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods such as co-localization, immunoprecipitation, and FRET is that BIFC allows for the spatialized localization of weak or transient interactions in the cell. And this method does not require extensive post-processing Im images as seen with FRET. This method can address key questions in the area of signal transduction, such as do proteins X and Y interact, and if so, what are the specific compartments to which these complexes localized in the cell? Generally, newcomers to this method will struggle because they haven't chosen the proper configuration for expressing their BIOC tagged proteins of interest. Begin by selecting one of the multiple fluorophores for the BIFC fusion proteins. Consider that amino